hey guys you're welcome to the recess campus so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use zoom to teach online so i'm going to be showing you three most important things the first one is how you can um, start a meeting how you can invite students to your class and the second is how you can share your screen with your students so that what you do on your own screen the student is also going to see it on their own screen the third is how you can um, send messages to your students while you're in class and also how you can send files to your students so the student can be working on the files while you guys are in class so make sure you stay to the end of this video if you're new here you're welcome to the research campus in this channel we do a lot of how to take videos and also share content on how you can make genuine money online so if such videos interest you please do not hesitate to hit the red subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post educational content. Let's like get right into the tutorials. First of all, if you don't have Zoom, just come right here to this website where it says zoom.us. Click here. And you'll be able to download Zoom from here. Just click here and you download it and then you can set it up on your laptop. So I already have Zoom on my laptop, so I'm just going to open up Zoom. Okay, now this is my space. To start a meeting, you just come here where it says new meeting. Click here. My laptop webcam is not that good. So I use, I usually use my phone as a webcam. I have a video that shows you how to use your phone as a webcam. If you want to do that, you can just come here where it says stop video. Come here and then you click on Erium webcam and you're going to integrate it with the webcam on your mobile phone. So you can just open Erium on your mobile phone and you see, you see how, um, you see how it goes. So I have a video, you can go watch it after this. So I'm just going to go back and go to integrated camera. So I'm just going to close this. I don't want to share the video. Okay, now the first thing is how do you invite students to your class? So you're going to come here where it says participants and you click here and you're going to see invite. Click on invite. Great. This little box pops up. And you're going to come here where it says email. Now, this is where you're going to copy the link. You can either copy the link to send an invite to um, to people to the people you want to invite them to your meeting, or you can come here where it says Gmail. Click there. That's where you're going to put the email address of the student. So when you do that, you just come here and click on send. And the student is going to see this message. So to join the Zoom class, they're just going to click here and they'll be ushered into the Zoom meeting with you. Okay, next, let's see how you can share your screen with your students. So first of all, you're going to open up. Let me just minimize this window. You're going to open up your presentation. I'm just going to open up this presentation here in PowerPoint. Okay, great. So this is the presentation. I'm just going to click here. Slideshow, great. Now, to go back, this, this is where you're going to uh, exit, minimize video. Click here. Now it takes you to your Zoom meeting. So next, you're going to, to share the screen. Just click on this share screen option right here. But first of all, I'm going to click on this arrow you're going to decide if you want to share the screen with one person or with more people participants. So if you if it's like a meeting with a lot of people, then you can click multiple participants. But if it's a student or one person, just click on one person. Now to share the screen, click on share screen. Now it takes you here. As you can see, this is a small box appears. This is it. Now you can drag this box as you will. Now let's see how to use this box. To send chat with your students, you can just click on this chat button right here and just drag this thing somewhere here so that you can be discussing with your student while you guys are in the presentation. Just so you know, whatever you, since you have shared the screen, whatever you do on this particular screen, your student is also going to see it. Now, 
if in case you are you want to annotate something you can come here or you want to, you want to show something particular you can come right here to the annotation tool and you are going to see this box appears now if if you can see there's a pen tool that appears in this. so now now you can come here and let's see you can just see what i do here you can just do this so you can do whatever you like if you want to erase it just click on the erase and that is it if you want to give like a special like a spotlight just do this and you're going to show this so that is just basically it so it's not that big of a deal so if you want to write the text you can just also click there and then you can type in something here okay let's click on the undo button if this the pen tool is too thick you can come here to the format tool and click uh, maybe change it this the color right here and you see what I mean so as you can see you see the difference great so let's just clear or drain great when you're done you can just click on the save this is where you click on save you can save annotation as a PNG or PDF now if you don't want this window to show up as you can see if you don't want this window to show up you can just click here and you click on hide floating control and you see it has disappeared if you want to bring it back just go to click the escape button on your keyboard and it will come it will come up if you want your student to also annotate or to write something on the screen so you can just come here where it says more click here and you're going to see this option disable annotation for others right now the students can also annotate on their screen on this particular screen so but if you don't want them to annotate so you can just click on disable annotation for others so that you be the only person who can annotate on the screen so now i'm just going to close this hide floating controls now to send messages to your student this you come here and you type in a message as simple as that now if you want to send a file to your student this is where you're going to click this small file tool here click here and you can choose a file from your Google Drive or you can choose a file from your computer just click here on your computer and you can take a file from your computer let's say let's say this and click on open as you can see the file has been sent so you can also add an emoji if you like make it fun something like that go to click enter on your on your keyboard and that is it so that is how you send files and you send messages to your students in class so that is just basically it so if you want to end the meeting of course just come back and click the escape button bring up this box and come here where it says end meeting click on end and end meeting for all there's also one very important thing you have to know you can detect how you want your student to come into your class so just come right here where it says meeting right and then click on edit now you're going to open this box come here for where it says advanced options now you can click this box to allow participant to join at any time or you can mute participant upon entry that's when they are entering their classroom no noise uh there, sh there shouldn't be any noise maybe from their own end from their background or something like that so you can decide and click this if you don't want especially if you have a lot of people in a meeting so this is the best option you can just tick this and that is how it's going to um be it's going to be affected so next you can automatically record meeting on the local computer or approve or block entry for users from specific countries so you decide on what you want for your class when you're done just click on the save option 
okay so if this video was helpful please please hit the red subscribe button that is how you can encourage me to make um, such contents like this so thank you for watching and see you again next time bye